I already figured out that my heating element is bad, but on this one, we do have a hidden heating element. Um, there's a little dart. I'm gonna use these LED work lights. For this repair, all you're gonna need is an actual multimeter and a Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna pull this guy out. Phillips screwdriver. Doesn't even need to be fancy. Pull it out, just leave it here. As far as this plate goes, there's a little rails here. Pull the back in. Pull that forward. That releases that. Now I can from the front. So since so this is a heating element and uh, hidden, I wasn't able to see the actual condition of the heating element, but uh, has multiple portions where it's swollen and broken. And the more I inspect this, the more I'm finding like more and more damaged stuff to it. it Look like it arced and it got stuck to the bottom of this and then hit ground here and here. Right. Yeah. This is pretty bad. Kind of welded on there as well. It's coming out from here, but it's definitely welded. Definitely had to take a little sandpaper here, get all this gritty stuff off. I like to put my screws right back where I got them. It uh, helps me when I'm putting everything back together to have the screws ready and available. Again, just the Phillips. From right there. Again, we use a Phillips. Move from the back. You just got this side and this side. Move this as well. Pop up in here. All I'm gonna do, as far as this, when you do pull, you're gonna pull straight down. There's a clearance there. And out. That's it. And when you pull it back in. Put it in, push up, close that seal, and align the two little holes into these two little holes right here. This one and this one. Two wires that we're looking for is this one and this one here. A little wiggle, and pop this one out. Pop this one out as well. And I'm gonna just push this one off. Right here. There we go. Gonna pop down. I disconnected this from the back. So I totally didn't want to be fighting with these cables. Yeah. This would do it. If you are not getting heat, your mouse does split and break into a couple pieces. Uh, this one just happened to uh, arc itself and weld itself onto the actual uh, body of the oven. And it's it's time to get a new one. I'll put a part down below. Uh, hopefully I can find a nice one in Amazon. Cool, just got off of work. And I got my Amazon package. This thing is huge. Little rule, I like to place it right here. That way I can pull out and then just go straight in. This way you don't forget exactly the order that it went in and it's really easy to assemble. All I'm gonna do is insert one of these in there and then I'm gonna pull my other wire that I had tucked in over here. It's gonna go on the other side. Covers on, two screws, and sew back together. And put the other one on. 
very very last thing you want to do go ahead and get your system power there we go so we can feel the heat.